Hi everyone, this is Andrew Town. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Windows 11 minimum system requirements and how they might surprise some people because most people will think of Windows 11 as a kind of updated graphical user interface and there's not really much different from Windows 10. However, the new requirement for Trusted Platform Module version 2.0 or TPM is actually going to exclude a lot of computers from Windows 11 that could have run Windows 10 quite easily. So what I'm going to do is show you whether your PC is actually compatible using the Microsoft Checker tool. I'm going to leave a link in the description to this particular tool all you have to do is scroll to the bottom of the page and then click download app once we've downloaded it we'll install it and then run the application so this tool is called the pc health check so it checks various aspects of your computer but most notably it has been updated to tell you whether you're able to upgrade to windows 11. So all you have to do is to click the check now button at the top of the window. And it's telling me I can't run Windows 11 because I don't have TPM 2.0. So this might surprise quite a lot of people because I'm running a Ryzen 3700X, which was only released in July 2019. And furthermore, Microsoft has sent some very confusing messages about which version of TPM is actually required. This support page initially said that TPM 1.2 was the hard floor, the minimum requirement for Windows 11, but it was subsequently updated to show that TPM 2.0 was the minimum requirement once again. So what does a TPM do? Well, basically it's a part of your computer which helps improve security by holding cryptographic data and also things like encryption, passwords, etc., in a separate part of your computer. So these can exist as these kind of discrete chips that you can actually physically connect to your motherboard. But actually much more commonly, they are actually part of any kind of modern CPU. And this is something that Microsoft has really failed to communicate properly. The reality is that almost every CPU from 2015 onwards is almost guaranteed to have TPM 2.0 support. And so if we check this particular list of compatible CPUs, so I've got my list of AMD CPUs here and also Intel CPUs here, you can see that there's quite a lot of CPUs that are actually compatible. So these are not discrete modules that are plugged into your motherboard. They're actually part of the CPU itself. So for AMD, they have a firmware-based TPM called FTPM and Intel has the Intel Platform Trust Technology, or PTT. So if you have one of the listed compatible CPUs that you bought in the last five or six years, then you probably already have TPM 2.0 and you just need to turn it on. So I'm just going to show you how I turned on TPM 2.0 for my computer. And what I did was I turned it off and then loaded into BIOS by pressing the Dell key while the computer was booted in order to access the setting. So I'm in my BIOS of my B450 Tomahawk, which is an MSI motherboard. Then I'll go into the security setting and then click on the trusted computing section. So I just need to make sure that security device support is enabled. And then this allows the TPM to be turned on. So this is the FTPM that's integrated into the Ryzen 7 chipset. So once we're ready, we just quit out and then make sure to press save. So once the computer is rebooted, all we need to do is go back into the PC Health Check app. And then we can see now that this computer is fully supported by Windows 11. And I gather most people who have a relatively recent computer are going to be able to run Windows 11 just fine. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did make use of it, please leave a comment, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.